सो उटमेंट simultaneously you said women always live dependable on men and she is solely responsible for that as we are seeing cases are increasing of domestic violence consumption of alcohol in houses by men women and children especially girl child suffers a lot in that but as i said above women is women is responsible for that due to attachment and unawareness if i see around me there are many women who are victim of domestic violence but at the same time they have proud on the, themselves like they are living in their house their queen of their home how to appro- approach them to help out please explain see it's a question of uh, installed values hmm? most people men or women just don't have an independent original center they do not have any original internal yardstick with which to measure the worth of things so then how do we accord value to things how do we know what is valuable what is not what to be proud of what to be ashamed of we use the values that have been supplied to us rather implanted into us by our upbringing and our conditioning hmm? that's a very dead process we do not know what is respectable we do not know what is valuable but because we have seen others respect something we have been told that that particular thing is valuable so we not only start according value to that thing we actually begin to feel as if by having that thing we have made an accomplishment so movies and popular culture and folklore they taught the girl that uh, maintaining the family is uh, her foremost role in life hmm? and uh, she was never taught to question things she was never taught to not accept anything without understanding it these values were not given to her what was the value given to her whatever is given to you just take it hmm there are uh, centers of authority and if something is coming from those centers then you dare not question those things or investigate them you're just supposed to blindly take them in so the girl kept on imbibing those things hmm? so this value is very deeply ingrained in the indian society it exists all across the world but in india it is especially 
very powerful. That the woman is the axis of the family. And not only is she the axis of the family, hmm, she is also supposed to be the axis of the family. When we say the woman is the axis of the family, we are trying to narrate a fact. Right? A fact can be questioned, a fact can be investigated. And when we say she is also supposed to be the uh, center of the family, she, her, her primary job in life is to run the household. The moment you say this is what she is supposed to do, now you cannot even question it. Hmm? How is she supposed to do this? This nobody asks. Nobody asks. Who told you this? Even this nobody asks. It is taken as some divine axiom. Interested to man by the skies. The woman shall raise the family. The woman shall run the household. I was in a very prestigious institution of medical sciences recently. In fact, this very month. And the occasion was... Uh, Women's Day. And as I was talking about uh, the liberation of women, it came from one of the young women in the audience. Roti gaun banayega, bache gaun palega. These very words. And these words are not coming from some male chauvinist. They are coming from a woman and a young woman and a woman student in an institution of higher professional education. That's where this is coming from. Irrespective of uh, your, your station in life, irrespective of your professional qualifications, it's been drilled very deeply into Indian women that their life is first and foremost about the husband, the kids, the bed and the meals. Roti kaun banayega? Who will do the meals? Right? Ghar ka kaam kaun karega? Who will take care of the household chores? Why do you need to have uh, so many household tasks? What is this household for? Do you exist for the house or does the house exist for you? Hmm? If, if the house is uh, such a big and unmanageable deal that it uh, consumes most of your time, then change the house. Shift to a smaller one. Hire a domestic help. Hmm? Or, or use mechanized instruments. How can this be the primary reason of existence of a human being? How can a human being claim that she exists for the sake of the household laundry and the kitchen and, and doing the bed and washing the linen and raising kids? and making life comfortable for the husband and the in-laws. Isn't it all very nauseating? We are talking of a human being, right? It's incidental that the human being is a woman. We are talking about a conscious human being. How can a human being exist for this purpose? What do you mean by 
being the queen of the home. What do you mean by that? The queen of the home. By what stretch of imagination is that shabby home of yours a kingdom? How dare you exalt yourself even in your imagination? Queen of the house, all that you are doing is more than 50% replaceable by a domestic help. And that's what you call as being a queen. In fact, that's what happens. As soon as a household becomes more prosperous, the work of the woman largely reduces. You hire a cook, you start eating out. The washing purposes are outsourced to a laundry. Right? You get a maid or a couple of maids. So you know very well that these things are very much non-core activities. The worth of these activities is just a few thousand rupees. And had these activities not been worth just a few thousand rupees, how could you have transferred them to a domestic help so easily? A prime minister cannot outsource his job, can he? A king cannot outsource his job. Equally, a queen ideally should not be able to outsource or transfer or hand over her tasks to somebody else. But we see that happening daily. The moment that queen gets some money on her hand, immediately all her queenly tasks are dumped on somebody else. So it's just that uh, we deceive ourselves. We live very lowly lives. And then to justify that lowliness to ourselves, we use such decorated phrases, queen of the house. And these are uh, not words used by just women. When men want to keep women caged, they too say the same things. They say, why do you want to go out and do something? See, right now, you are the queen of the house. And when you go out to work, you will be the dirt of the road. You know the kind of arguments that they give? They say, suppose you have a diamond in your house, what will you do with it? Will you take it out on the streets? Will you ask your diamond to go out and do the shopping? No. You will just keep the diamond very, very safe in a nice, protected, clean and decent place. So darling, you are the diamond of my house. You are not supposed to go out. Like the diamond you are supposed to stay in. And a lot of women get taken in. They don't apply any discretion. They don't apply any sense. They don't question such statements and the intent behind them. Sir, but I have one question. As I am seeing around me, there are girls, they are having opportunity, like they are having education, but instead of uh, setting an aim for them, they are what they are doing, making reels for Instagram, just uh, 
putting all their time on their body like how i am looking and what to wear today what to wear tomorrow what to wear one month after all their attention going to body they are getting equally equal opportunity of studying labs like i am a science student uh, apart me like except me no other girl have a uh, any attention in science they are like what is science make just just make reels for instagram what is this and there are also fake feminist like girl whatever whatever she wants oh, she can yes. do how to combat you see, this as uh, you would have noticed a while back i like to begin by looking at a human being as a human being the sex or the gender comes later and being a human being the woman is prone to all the vices that affect any other human being so greed for example affects her ignorance she is vulnerable to just because she is a woman there is no reason to defy her just because she is a woman there is no reason to treat her as somebody special huh? biologically we are all just monkeys so the woman is every bit as much of a fool as the man is why do you expect the woman to be any better what is the nature of human beings what is the the prakritik the the biological conditioning of uh, any animal the conditioning is let me have the maximum comfort with minimum effort that's what every single species in the world wants right no species wants to uh, take the longer route no animal no organism wants to needlessly work hard comfort sleep leisure relaxation good food minimum effort this is something every single creature in existence covets man covets that and so does the woman what's the surprise in that you see we all have certain resources available to us and we want to lead a comfortable life using those resources right for example if you have knowledge that's a resource you have now you want to use your knowledge to get a comfortable life how using your knowledge you will get a job and that job will fetch you some money and you will live in comfort right so we have our resources and we want to use these resources for the sake of a normal comfortable life now unfortunately the woman has one resource that is unique to her and that is the body the market for this particular asset is huge and the market for this particular asset is huge also because the men control 97% of the wealth of the world now look at the situation the women have a tremendously attractive asset right their body and the men have all the money do you see supply and demand coming together here lo you have a market the moment there is demand and when there is demand then the one making the demand must have money to pay for the thing he demands men demand women's bodies and they also have all the money to pay for it and the women have bodies so there is the market 
so there is a quick tendency then to have an easy life by just using the body why work hard in life why exert oneself to understand science and conduct experiments in the laboratory why take the long route the short one is so easily available you are young and the body is naturally attractive you don't have to work too hard to make yourself sellable so you just need to record a jazzy video bordering on erotica and uh, you will be paid for it in several ways not necessarily in cash hmm? people will give you attention you will be noticed and sooner than later money too will follow are you getting it so it's a normal human tendency do not take it as something specific to women i'll i'll explain this through an example let's say there is a country where the women control all the money hmm where the women control all the money in that country you will find a lot of men demonstrating their sculpted bodies the reason is obvious right they are demonstrating their bodies to very very able buyers the buyers have a lot of money if they have money and i have the body why not make a deal that's how it goes right so do not treat it as a gender issue it's a it's a human issue very few people live for the sake of their liberation or for the sake of upliftment of consciousness beat men beat women very very few people live with this purpose most people live just to spend their 60 or 80 years comfortably comfortably let there be a cozy bed let there be ample money let the heating or air conditioning be proper let there be ample avenues for fulfillment of my desires and i'll ask for nothing more that's the maximum i can ask for that's what most people live for and when you will understand that then it will be very obvious why men and women behave in the ways they normally do it's just plain old greed and ignorance nothing more than that sir as you said like they have inherited centers so how as i am a person but uh, since uh, my birth like uh, the childhood days i i have another kind of uh, aura around me like another kind of environment around me always be alone like i have interest in space so that's why my personality is somewhat different from other girls so as a person what things you suggest me to make my that center strong which you are talking that center about? is the center that's of some... consciousness huh? the center of understanding consciousness seeks to understand the body seeks to sleep hmm? the body needs comfortable sleep in that sense the body favors lack of consciousness hmm? so how do you nourish your center of consciousness deepen your understanding Well, that's what your consciousness your your mind really craves for to know to understand hmm? and this craving can also be called as love so consciousness loves consciousness understands and consciousness loves to understand hmm? 
so love and understanding go together so give yourself opportunities to engage in discussions give yourself the courage to question things and not accept them uh, blindly don't let people just hand over things to you right see company where open debate and rational discussions are favored over uh, emotional bonds between reason and emotion try to choose reason as much as possible hmm? and read and read and read without knowledge understanding is a far cry though knowledge is not understanding but knowledge aids understanding hmm? so read sit with knowledgeable people ask as much as you can even when you are alone keep meditating no not that usual kind of meditation when i say meditating i mean very very deep thought deep and honest thought hmm? so let that process be continuous within you just as the breath is continuous to the body right the body is all the time busy doing its own thing no the heart is beating the lungs are breathing the mind too should be all the time busy doing its own thing otherwise the body will win because the body works incessantly but consciousness does not work incessantly for its liberation therefore the body wins the one who will work continuously will obviously have an edge no so the mind should also be constantly thinking about reality hmm? wherever you are uh, whatsoever is the occasion you should always have an eye rather both the eyes on truth hmm? don't let yourself get carried away by all the stuff that happens in our daily lives always remain attentive that's a beautiful word no attention hmm? and that's very uh, close to love i love to know i love to attend to the truth hmm? and that will give you a blossomed personality and a great life